Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitch and today I'm going to be helping you guys fix the sign in failed error on your PlayStation console. Now the reason you're not able to sign into your PlayStation Network account could only be because of three reasons. First, incorrect credentials. Now when you try to sign into your PSN account and if you get this prompt right here on your screen, it most certainly means that the credentials that you're trying to use to log in are incorrect. Now there's nothing to worry about in this situation. All you want to do is just press triangle forgot password on your controller and then an email to reset your password is going to be sent to your email address. But this is where it gets tricky. Now, if you guys have forgotten your email address or if you guys think that someone has changed your email address, what you guys want to do is you want to head over to Google and just type in PlayStation support and then you're going to be clicking on the first result, uh, first search result that pops up, excuse me. And then you want to head over to account and security and then just go on to login and password. And then scroll down you're gonna see a bunch of different videos helping you reset your password and all of that stuff but what you want to do is go on to login issues and then just click on forgotten sign in ID which is your email address just click on this and then it's gonna give you um, all sorts of information about how you can go about in order to retrieve your account but if none of this helps just make sure you read all of this before you do anything but after you've been through this whole page and you feel like nothing else is helping what you guys can do is you guys can contact playstation support directly and have them talk to you over call and in order to do that what you guys want to do again is just scroll down and click on contact playstation support and then once you get to this screen, go on to account security once again. And then this time around, you want to click on this option right here. And as you guys can see, you've got the contact information in order to get in touch with PlayStation support. Uh, just make sure you call them on their business hours and just explain to them about your issue. And hopefully it should be fixed. Now, the second reason why you can't sign into your PSN account is because you've had an account suspension. Usually when your account is suspended, you should receive an email stating the exact reason for your account suspension. And so if you can't sign in and you know your credentials are correct, make sure you go through your email. And if you have an email stating your account has been suspended, what you can do again is go onto the PlayStation support page once again, and then go on to login and password, click on login issues. And then you want to click on this option right here that says if your account is suspended. And once you get on this page, this page is pretty much going to give you all the information on how you can go about things if you have your account suspended. But just so you guys don't have to read it all, let me just quickly tell you guys that the only condition where you can get your account back if your account was suspended by Sony is if your account is suspended because of an outstanding payment. In that case, you can get your account back after you've cleared all your debts. Other than that, PlayStation account suspensions are final and you cannot really appeal against the decision if your account is suspended. Now, except for these two reasons, the only other reason why you're not able to sign into your PSN account is if the servers are busy on Sony's end. In this case, there's absolutely nothing that you can do and you're going to have to wait until the servers are back online. But in this scenario, you're not the only one that's going to be waiting. You're going to have to wait along with the rest of the world. And as soon as the servers are up again, you're going to be able to log in. So anytime you can't sign in, just check Twitter and type in PlayStation and you should be able to see people tweet about the issue. And you're going to know that you're not the only one facing the issue. With that being said, guys, that was pretty much the video. Hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like to this video. And also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.